We are setting the background for our other's encampment, 1977. And we got lots of cool background. They're all dirty, as you can tell. And something you might not know, unless you're a really good fan, is that our background, the others, don't ever get to wear shoes. So all of their shoes will be coming off when we shoot. Pictures up. And why are they always so like rough and gruff and dirty looking when uh, Richard Alford is uh, so like clean cut? That is an excellent question. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's because Richard time travels and he always gets to stay clean. Yeah, I'm a little dirty, not quite as dirty as, as they are, but uh, I got some dirt on me. Damon Carlton, why is that? Because I don't know. Since when is it your decision, Charles? Is killing this baby what Jacob wants? You know, doing this, no idea. Who's this baby? Baby? Who the hell is that about? And I want to kill the baby, suddenly. Why out of the blue? I want to kill the baby. No, you want him to kill the baby? Yes, right, I don't want to kill the baby. Set. And action! What's his name? Is it last name? No. Is he a football player? What does it sound like? <laughs> I could tell you a lot about what happened in that writing, in the meeting. I sat, I sat in with the writers. They said, come in, come sit with us. And I sat in with the writers, and we've come up with some amazing backstories. Amazing backstories. I've got Whitmore as a teenager, as a 20 something, 30 something, 40 something, 50 something, 60 something, there is a. We actually go a little bit into the future. I shouldn't tell you this, but we actually go like way into the future. When Whitmore is being preserved on ice and then gets woken up 300 years later in space. And he's still trying to run the island. Uh, and, uh, Thespians in love.